Welcome back to Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, please visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shabir, this is a question um, from an individual who's saying, how can I explain to non-Muslims that Islam was not spread by the sword and did not force people to convert? Well, this is very easy because the facts of the matter is that Islam was not spread by the sword. But in the Middle Ages, some people bandied out this idea because they wanted to explain how does Islam rise and what made Islam attractive. They didn't want to say that the ideas of Islam are good. They wanted to say, well, Muslims must have spread the religion by the sword. But uh, when we look at the history, we see that uh, uh, the, uh, Islam was spread by peaceful persuasion. For example, in Indonesia, which became the largest uh, Muslim uh, population, uh, uh, Muslim traders went there and uh, it, it is by their character and interaction with the people that uh, their religion seemed attractive to, to the locals. Uh, even in the very early days of Islam when uh, Muslims were being persecuted and the Prophet peace be upon him uh, suffered many uh, inconveniences and, uh, and, and even physical violence from others who were determined to kill him and to wipe out the Muslims. Uh, eventually, people softened up when they had the, inter the opportunity to interact with Muslims in a peaceful environment, and, and they saw the character of Muslims. They th themselves decided to embrace the faith of Islam. Mm -hmm. And we know that even now, even today, um, in Europe, in North America, uh, Islam is still thriving. Um, there are pe people still following Islam. There are people still converting to Islam. So, of course, that means that they weren't forced to become Muslims. That's right. In these countries where people have the full freedom to uh, embrace whatever relig religion they choose, we find many are choosing Islam. Carol Anway wrote a book entitled Daughters of an Another Path, uh, and in that book uh, she details the stories of many American women who have uh, decided to become Muslims. And uh, in the stories of these women, we find, for example, some of them saying that during their college years, they took a course on, the, on, on world religions. And when they saw Islam discussed in this comparative perspective, th th they decided for themselves that Islam is the truth and this is what they want to dedicate their lives to. So they embraced Islam after studying it in that uh, comparative perspective of a world religions course. All right, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Bill Shabir. You're welcome. And we'd like you to visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. And check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Quranspeaks. As always, please, please continue to write to us. Your comments and questions help guide the show. I'm Sophia Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.